Wait a minute. It's May. I refuse to wear a sweatshirt. One second. I don't care how cold I am. <laughs> it's May and I am not gonna wear a sweatshirt. Anyway, hello, welcome back to yet another unboxing video. I don't know if anything looks different. Hopefully it looks better. Upgraded to some new lights. And by new, I mean I bought them in 2019, but I thought, oh, that's gonna be way too much of a hassle to actually try and use them. I was not wrong. Hopefully it'll end up being worth it in the long run, but for now, bear with me as I follow the learning curve. What? Is that even a saying? Anyway, <laughs> this is where we're at so far. I think we can work with it. All right, now without further ado, let's jump right inside the box, see what we've got in there, and try to make something cute with our Japanese art supplies. Well, not art supplies, stationery. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> Let's bust into it. Literally. Ooh, green! Dare I try to pronounce this? Usagi? Hmm? Usagi. Did they tell you how to pronounce this? Oh, it means bunny. So the theme is bunny garden. And the, the mascot for Zenpop boxes is a bunny. So this seems very fitting. I love the art style of these. It's gorgeous. I wonder if there's any like things inside here that also look like this. That would be amazing. <gasps> I wanted to see some bunnies. Okay, the, just the amount of joy the cute things can give you. I'm just, I'm just appreciating it. It might be annoying. I apologize only a little bit, but this is the first thing I see. So this looks like an envelope. Okay, there's three envelopes with adorable little boonies. She just wants sleeping. I think these are technically money envelopes because that's a big thing over there across the ocean. Oh, and they're pretty pink. Mm. Okay, more green. These look like sticky notes shaped like a little, I was gonna say a vase, but I'm pretty sure that's just a jug with water and some flowers. Oh, wait a minute. There's instructions. Is there more to this than meets the eye? Oh, it's one of these where it creates a holder or a little like display device. So you stick a little tab A into slot A and then a oh, little holder for your sticky notes. They're actually a little translucent. Can you see that? I like the use of like the pastel colors. Very cute. Mind if I just jump in here again? Oh no, there's something inside. <laughs> Let's look at this first. This is the energized pencil. Oh, it's a pencil. And it's this beautiful coral color. And there's also like a clear version of that same color up there, which is very cohesive. And the design are these little bunnies in sweatshirts. Actually, wait, this one's in pants. Oh, but he's upset. Is it a sweatshirt that he accidentally put on his pants? Usagi no Mu Chan. The idea of bunnies wearing clothes, especially sweatshirts, amuses me. All right, now the thing that it was trying to destroy. Oh yeah, look. Little crinkles. So we're back to the Sumiko Gurashis. And it's got like a gold foil design on it that you can see sometimes. And we got bunnies, lizards, snails, cats, little mushies. And then it's a notepad. And there are, oh, there's actually quite a few designs on here. So there's this one, purple with some flowers. They're all having a tea party. Then there's this one where they're all literally in the tea. <laughs> These little guys have little dishes. There's this pink one with yellow lines. It's got all of the little critters. It looks like at like a park. It's very Animal Crossing. And then finally this one, which looks like it's the menu or something and it's got all the different dishes. This is supposed to be water. Why does it look the most tasty? Let me grab that one that I really liked. The blue one, of course it was blue. Oh, that looks like a cute little card. How do you spell cucumber? Now we can slip it in the locker. All right, there are still a few items left in here. We have a, what do you call these, a binder clip, mini clip. It's in the color mint. There's no bunnies actually on the clip, but the packaging does have some. I appreciate that attention. How do you get it out of there? Release it. There we go. Oh, a little close up. It's not quite the same green. Oh, actually, there's a little bit of a uh, turquoise inside this. Hey, hey, all right, next up. Oh, are these more letters? Is there no envelopes? Are they just notes? They're so cute. This design reminds me of something and I can't quite play. <gasps> there's a bunny with a pom pom tail. I really like that design too. Something about this art style is really appealing to me. Oh, there's another design. Oh, there's another design. Okay, so there's no envelopes. There's no packaging, but there's a bunch of little note paper. Curious. All right, are we down to the final two items? So these look like some more Sumiko Gurashis. It's a purple plastic with three tabs. You've got bunny with a ball, bunny with a bow tie, and bunny waving hello. And you can keep everything organized. I will never use this, but it's cute. And then we have stickers and washi tape. So two little, oh, there's more. It just keeps coming. So we got some more little vases, little jars of flowers, and they're super pretty. And there's like a little specks of glitter as well. And then these are little bunny stickers. It's more of the little bunnies in sweatshirts. So they match the pen, the Yusagi no Muchan. Oh, that must be his name. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Look how cute he's with food. I need to figure out what to do with these. And finally, the washi tape. Now I'm gonna make sure there's not like another art supply because usually there's two, but I do not see it. All right, washi tape, what do we got? very storybook style, I feel like. Like the bottom of the page or something. There's roses, leaves, that sort of thing. It's not the most out there washi tape design, but sometimes you want something a little more simple, you know? And that's everything in the box. So obviously we're gonna be drawing some bunnies. I don't think I'd be able to live with myself if I didn't draw a bunny. And I really wanna try and like locate the style. I feel like I could do it with markers maybe. Okay, let's start with the pencil. Okay, we're definitely doing something green. So I'll grab my pastel hoop set here. Grab our greens. Maybe a do we need yellow? <laughs> How pretty. Ah! Okay. I feel like this doesn't really fit the style. It's too pink. I'm gonna stick a little in here anyway. Actually, it might look good here. I didn't do that straight. We'll live with it. Oh, and I really want to do this. I wonder if I could do like little blob bunnies. Like if I just grabbed a color, if I just drew a little bunny, or, like a circle. Oh, this is way too orange. We have like an ear, an ear, a little sack of flour for the body, and one had a little tail. And then go over that with the pencil. Draw the little eyeball, nose. There he is, the little bunny's popping out. He needs a little more, or a little less saturation. Grab a Copic. That looks gross. But it worked, it looks like a bunny. How could I do this better? <laughs> Maybe use a different color. Let's try tea rose. What does that look like? I'm just, ooh, this is too pink. Oh well, I had a big bunny head on it and an ear and another ear. Look at, it looks like a bunny already. I think I'm figuring something out. But I would like it to go a little darker. Maybe add in like some of this design. I mean, we could stick with the pink theme. So we're gonna give him a little spot on the nose and the ear and the back. Take the pencil, add like our line art, if you will. <gasps> okay, sorry, I'm getting excited. Sometimes things work out. That's why you can't give up. <laughs> you never know when it'll work. There's a certain charm before I add the line art. Ooh, I just found a hidden eraser. Very useful. He looks so happy. Give him a little heart. Still not like the ideal color. Let me try something a bit more orange. I got like all these green markers out and I have not even touched them. I mean, I could swatch the color, but why not just swatch it as a bunny? What's really the difference? This is the body and this is the head. We had a little liner. It might not have made the body big enough. Ah, you know I'm focusing too hard when I snap my pencil. There's another one. This one looks a little more Pikachu with the ears. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Do they just need to be rounded? Ooh, yeah, that kind of did help, didn't it? Let's make a green bunny. Do the ears closer together. Oh yeah, that makes a difference. I'm gonna give this one spots as well. And draw in the features. Okay, do you want to do another bunny? Another pink one? My little chubby bunny. All right, not the best, but another one. Okay, we've established I can draw bunny-shaped things. So that will probably carry over into whatever we end up with. I kind of want to like recreate some of these things because these are pretty. <gasps> Those. This is not the right green. Kind of reminds me of the mermaids that I'm drawing. Over on Instagram, check them out. It's mermaid. <laughs> kind of trying to replicate the style. Getting a little gradient with the same color. I still think the green's too vibrant. Well, that's not going to help. Maybe something. Oh, that's going to be too dark. But let's see. It's a sketchbook. It's for experimenting. Kind of made that like diamond shape that it's supposed to fit in. Just like the reference. What I like about these is they're stylized, but you can also tell that they're like different kinds of flowers. Just kind of want to recreate some of these. Can't really get the really fine details like this one with these markers. Unless I drew a little bigger. It needs some variation of green. And then the little flowers. We'll do pink, even though I think those are supposed to be like violets or something. Ooh, there's the color I've been looking for. Okay, still nothing wow in me. I, I feel like I need to be wowed. <laughs> oh, do you like that better? Got a little something, something extra. And that something extra was pencil. <laughs> I also really like the idea of yellow in the background. Got like a more vintage vibe when you add like yellow and off whites. That's a fun color scheme. It does kind of reference back to this. I really like this blue one, so I'm gonna just stick it in here. I think these would look a lot cuter with line art instead of pencil. Like either a maroon color or black. I think the gray is kind of just, uh, you know, it's not ideal. We do have these two, a sepia and wine. So I'm gonna try another bunny, but this time use that and see if it looks better. And what I'm kind of vibing with right now is like maybe designing like little, almost like pretend it's like a sticker set. So a bunch of little designs with bunnies and flowers. I think that could be so fun. All right here. Or so, and then one foot is like down. Kind of trying to draw them a little more stretched out, but that's tricky. Ooh, no one told me it would be this difficult. Let's try that. We'll try the wine color one. 
the other foot or whatever. Okay, I might have to look up a reference of a real bunny. <laughs> okay, I think I salvaged most of that. I'm gonna just color this in. A little stylized choice. Same on this side so it's cohesive. Okay, not the best, but it's probably because I can't erase. But I do prefer the color of the wine versus the graphite. So we did make one revelation. No regrets. What I need to do is come up with designs that I think would be cute to fit into these diamonds. So if there's like a bunny and then the like flower things. <laughs> then maybe a little flower up here. See how that would make like a cute sticker or something? Like a little enclosed shape. What do you think? Am I heading in the right direction? The other idea is that we can stick them in bottles. <gasps> and the other idea, wait, I forgot. We can stick them in sweatshirts. Okay, I want to try that. I want to try my kind of little style of bunny, which is very close to this style of bunny with a sweatshirt. I might sketch this just so we can erase and try a couple things. We have the head. Let's stick out his tongue. Ears. Now we need the sweatshirt. Oh, hello there, little guy. What are you wearing? The thing I just ripped off my body because I decided I hated them and now they're cute again. I mean, I've never hated sweatshirts. I just, it's me. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to like stylize him a little more. Make him be able to move his arms like a human probably so that I can get that hoodie. But I do like the idea of him having very blobular booty. <laughs> Maybe not even draw in the knees, you know? Have a nice flat color. I want to give him <laughs> glasses for some reason. He's so cute. Can I draw him in any other pose besides? that if I have a sweatshirt. I think he's like sitting. Oh, well, that's too much like a doll. This is kind of like the base sort of shape. And then there's the tail. Do we keep the arms little tiny things like this? Starting to look like a little T-Rex. Bring that leg up a little. Make it a little more squashed and flat. I don't like this little arm. Bye! Maybe we could... What if we like bring a little blubfish ancestry into our bunny? I like I'll have big eyes. Uh-oh. This was either a mistake or a beautiful discovery. I also have to do a little tongue, of course. Maybe a bit more rounded body. Eh, it's missing something. And you can't see his tail. I like these poses better. Try a sweatshirt on this. What do we think about this one? A lot more stylized. I really like the face too. Because imagine this bunny and then with like a more detailed like floral background. It could be really cute. It could be. It could. I'm just try to draw these poses but with my blub. And the sweatshirt of course. Okay. The standing one. Oh, but the eyes stick out when I turn it to the side. Not sure that'll work. It was like the Peter Cottondale length of sweatshirt. Ooh, I like this one. This one turned out good. There's more contrast in shape with this one. Like the head and then it comes inwards and then this comes outwards like a mane and then it like goes in again and then comes out like, you know. <laughs> I wish I hadn't colored this guy. He's really obvious and sticking out. You know what? I could stick on top of it. Bye. Oh, you can still see him. He's less obvious. Okay, I still like this style, but I also want to play around with the big eyes a little more. They can be fun. The other thing besides putting them maybe in a diamond is I can put them in a jar. So you can try that. We have like a little jar with a cork in it. Maybe let's stick them in here. That's a new pose. Where did that come from? We get a big sweatshirt, little ears kind of in the jar. And then we have to have flowers. You know, something that makes more sense than that, hopefully. Now the cork makes me think that's why his eyes are bulging out of his sockets and he normally looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Which was not the intention. So let's try another diamond one, I think. So if we have the boonie. Oh, I want to do one with the clovers too. This one come up like this. Okay, that one's got some merit. I think what we should do next is actually make one all colored and everything. So let me create like a diamond shape. Stick it in. How do you to draw diamond? Oh, I bet this would help. Yeah, there you go. That's the closest I'm going to get. Okay. Ooh, this one with the little ball things. What are they? Peaches? <laughs> I kind of want to stick this guy in it. Do bunny ear, bunny ear, body. Do some different sized pupils to add to the cuckoo. Okay, he's a little funkily laid, funkily <laughs> laid out in there. But hopefully we can kind of stick some floral designs in here and hide that. I try this. I'm gonna draw a bunch of these wherever they feel like they would look good, and then connect them. And then every once in a while we'll draw one of these little things that look like popcorn. There we go. Bunch of little flowers. So first step is erase as much as possible because markers hate pencil. It's a serious Romeo and Juliet situation, just without Romeo or Juliet. Trace all the lines. And simplify this as much as possible. So there's little bunny. Do I want to add line art to the flowers or try and do that separately? I'm not sure, but I'm going to try and erase just a little more over the line art. There's no little pesky graphite. Oh, when it comes to colors, we have to kind of pick them with the bunny and the flowers in mind. Do I have a green fine liner? I have this. It's not really the desaturated color I feel like I want. Kind of like draw in all these. 
All right, that's what I've got so far. Now I can actually like erase all the pencil and not have to worry about making a big mess. All right, now what colors do we want? I kind of want yellow for the background, this this color. Give it that vintage vibe. It's so light, I can kind of just color over everything and not have to worry about not having color to go over that. Got a little diamond. He's looking cute. I might actually use this. Add a little line around it with precision. Nice. Oh, not too bad. I'm not crazy about the layout of the bunny and the flowers, but it's our first attempt. I'm thinking I want like that really dark green. Maybe mix with a little bit of this. I'm gonna go over this with this first. Actually, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Start that way. I don't know if I'm gonna go outside of these at all for the vines. Ooh, that kind of looks nice. I think the fine liner is what this stuff was missing because it gives it just a little finer line. <laughs> Now I'm thinking, what colors do we have? Milky white. It's an unfortunate name for a color, but I think we could get away with that. That would look nice with this green, don't you see? Let's go for it. Coloring in a little bunny. Now we could probably use this and go over some of uh, these little guys just to bring that color scheme over there. Now, what about the sweatshirt? Do we do green? Green or pink? I feel like those are my options. Or we could just make the flowers pink, then make the sweatshirt pink. I like it. I don't even mind it in uh, white, to be honest, but let's do it. It just looks so good with that wine. I'm gonna give him a little ear and a tongue. I think I want to do like a darker colored bunny. I also wouldn't mind giving him uh, brown spots or something. Do I have like a... Ooh, that could work. Let's try. Kind of like makes him look a little more green. It's like a gray green kind of color. Okay, that turned out actually kind of ideal. I like it. I like the little simple flowers. Just a little, fill in the little spaces. Okay, that's kind of cute. Definitely need to do another one. Maybe a different shape this time. I also like the idea of the flower actually going in front of the bunny. I'm also totally cool with like kind of keeping that color scheme, maybe varying it just in tiny little ways. Mostly because the markers are out <laughs> and the pencil sketch didn't look like it got in the way at all. So we'll just keep doing that. Is there any poses that I like really like that I want to do. I could try a sitting bunny this time. Maybe I'll draw the bunny and then create the shape around it and see if that helps or makes it more difficult. I wanted to do them sitting. So here's the torso. What if we put one paw down, one paw up? Do we want the sweatshirt? I think we do because I love drawing these little things. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try this little leg again. That way he's got like a sleeve. <laughs> the joy. I don't know why I drew people for so long when you can draw bunnies. Okay. <laughs> now we need to come up with a shape. Now we have this in the way, so maybe we do want a diamond. I want to do that trick. That seemed to help. So if this is the center and halfway points like there. Oh, but his tail, his tail stuck on the outside. Or maybe we can have like a border. Move his tail upwards a little. And then this ear I'm going to have to move to fit into here. That wasn't too hard. Ah! Threw that on the ground. I can't be trusted with my own limbs. Okay. Do I want to try the one where the flowers go in front? Could go this way. So there's like this little leafy with what kind of flower do we want to put on top? Maybe a little five petal doodad. So these will come in front. Then we'll have one behind right here. Ooh, I like this one. Okay. Kind of looks like Alvin, doesn't he? Alvin! All right, we need to erase. Follow all the steps we did before because that turned out pretty good. Erase most of it. Add liner, erase the rest. Pretty happy with that so far. Should we try? No, I like that. We'll use the green for any of the green stuff and then this for everything else. I might try a different colored bunny this time. We will see. It kind of looks like a tooth. That would be kind of cute if Blubfish always has like his tongue sticking out and then Blub Bunny has a tooth. Either way, I'm open to the possibilities. I need to switch to green to do the little petals on this. I might have it actually jet off over there and make that a flower that's connected. Just to fill that space a little better. I'll add little, little tiny dots kind of fill in that space too. Cute. I think it just adds a little visual interest without being distracting. And we need this line, of course. Oops, I moved that part down. But now the tail fits. Good enough. I don't want to like play around with the top there and ruin it. Okay, now we'll grab a rubber eraser. Now we actually have more space for some more green stuff, I think. Got some green little speckles. All right, did I change my mind about any colors or are we sticking with the same? I like that yellow background color, but the other thing we could do is the background color be this green and then yellow for the bunny. Unless I want to bring in like a purple or a blue. This scheme had like a blue. You know what I think I'll do? I'm going to color in the bunny yellow and just to see what it looks like because I think I can go over that if I don't like it. Okay, do I like the yellow bunny? It's all very pastel. We could do blue flowers. I guess we're just experimenting again. How will I know what I like unless I see all the options? I might color the bunny in the same color as that one. I really like the way the cool gray laid on top of the brownish pink color. I don't know what to call it. I'm going to go ahead and add the light 
light yellow background. Yeah, I love that color as a background. I think it just works really well for the little flowers again. Now I want the, uh, I think I used milky white. I made such a big stink about it, I remember. Now since this bunny has like designs that go over top, I don't think I will make him like have designs on his fur. So I'm gonna just go over top with, was it the warm gray? Is that what I went on top with? I guess so. I'll just make the whole bunny that color. If something's not popping the way it needs to. I'm thinking it's the flowers. I don't notice them unless I'm looking for them, which probably means we should make them pink. I think the layout of this one works better than that, but I also think I like it with the pink sweatshirt better. I think it's just more cohesive. All right, let's grab the pencil. I want to fill this whole thing with bunnies because I am having a lot of fun. We also actually, here's my little Posca. This little tiny Posca has come in so handy. It's the PC1MR or the 0.7 millimeter. I've been using it actually on top of pencil with my mermaids to like just kind of clean something up. We can kind of do the same thing here, clean up this eyeball. So I'm gonna just draw bunnies and then whatever shape fits around the bunny is what we will go with, I think. I would love to include more greens. Maybe try a bunny with a green sweatshirt. Then we'll have all three of the chipmunks just as bunnies. So we have no, wait, does Theodore wear green? This little blue bunny just makes me think of Theodore. So Simon has uh, glasses, so he's over there. <laughs> oh, wait, that's the wrong style. Wait, 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 wait. What am I drawing here? I drew a giraffe in this style the other day and it turned out so good. This has kind of just become my animal style. Just big googly eyes. Always visible tail. Just like when I draw humans, I make both ears visible no matter which direction the head's turned. It's just how it goes. I want to kind of put them in an oval, I wonder. Or an egg shape, like it's Easter. And of course, the hoodie. I think I'll get better when the hoodie's shorter. Eyes are also kind of close together. I like this one because the head's looking left and the body's looking right. Now what kind of flowers do we want to put in here? I feel like we have more room for flowers this time, so maybe we can do something a little more interesting. I'd love to do like these. And I love the little ladybug. So why don't we include a ladybug? Maybe right here. Is <laughs> that what a ladybug looks like? Maybe another one down here. And then we just need to include a bunch of these little clovers. Maybe a four leaf clover. I really like the way they had the... Little lines on it. And then little flowers on there too. Not sure what they'll look like. Probably figure that out with the liner. Is that enough going on back there? I feel like it needs to fill in the space a little more. Yeah, maybe just little dots will help. Let's take the eraser, limit that. Then we'll add in our liner. So I'm gonna start with the green. My four leaf clover. Make him pretty obvious. Okay, then we need the wine colored one. And we will fill this in with a little ladybug. Do those at the same time so I remember how I did it. That sweatshirt look kind of squishy. And the tail. There we go. All I have to do is add the little egg, but I'm really nervous about it. So take a deep breath. I'm gonna trace what's there. That's good enough for me. And now we have room for a little flower up here. Okay, now erase all of the pencil. Colors. Do we want to do the same exact color scheme? <laughs> Scream? <laughs> color scheme? Oh, what I wanted to do with the green sweatshirt this time. Got a little grass down here. A little more something here. I think I will go ahead and add that same yellow color to the background. Now this one I might be able to do a fun design on the bunny because we see more of him. Not such a complicated pose or anything either. It's a fun pattern we could do. We could do something where it's like he's got a white belly maybe. Maybe a little brown snout and brown ears. <laughs> it looks like a five o'clock shadow. It's the Homer bunny. What color do we want the hoodie to be? I'm thinking I'm gonna start with this. Oh, we could do a tie-dye. What if it's just like a green gradient? Watch a brighter green. Might use this also in some places of these flowers to bring that color into the picture. It's pink for our little ladybugs. Actually not crazy about the green sweatshirt. It's just too much green. What if I go over it with that warm gray? Not helping, not helping. Nope. We're getting rid of five o'clock shadow bunny. Hope you weren't a fan. Okay, that helped. That makes the green kind of fit a little better. What about add some pink to it? Makes it more of like a brown. Be our little Posca pen can help. If we add like a design, stripes. Not sure that helps, but there it is. Yeah, definitely the weakest of the three. What did I learn from this? Too much green? <laughs> is that what it is? I could try layering the pink over the entire bunny to bring in more of that pink color. At this point, I'll just do anything. Now oh, it's a red bunny! Don't like that either. Made it look a little more brown by going over it with the warm gray. But yeah, duh, not a fan. I also don't like the grass at the bottom. I like when they look like they're kind of like pendants. Whereas this one, it's like a little scene and then it makes the flowers look kind of weird because they're not really coming out of the ground. That's my opinion on that. So I'm going to avoid doing that on the next one. <laughs> my favorite part. We get to draw another bunny. We haven't done anything like horizontal. What if he's like? This just makes me think of the dumb Peter Cottontail though. <laughs> <laughs> what am I trying? Draw me like one of your French bunnies. I'd love to draw you, but not today. What about like a hands-on hip? 
kind of pose. Kind of requires me to leave behind something that I like about the bunny. So nah, not that one either. Should we copy one of these guys? Oh, how about this like turned pose? Like, ooh, let me get to draw the tail. Oh, we need the sweatshirt. We just include a foot there, even though it probably wouldn't show up. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. That's a good sign. I have no idea what shape to stick this in. What if I just do a little circle that he kind of punctures out of? I don't want to put him in a windbreaker. It's like a little jacket now. Now, what kind of flower do we want to stick in the background here? I'm thinking these little weeds. They almost look like oak leaves on a flower, so it might mean it's a weed. I don't know. Flowers could probably come outside of the circle. Why not? Let's uh, erase that. Liner! Hoodie, little ribbed part at the bottom. Does it look like a little windbreaker? Our stylish bunny. I can draw in these little flower things. Leafs, kind of overlapping a little, but I think that helps make it look more like a weed. If it's a weed. There we go, I likey, I likey. Now we add in a circle in the background. Okay, I'm really liking this one. It's not screwed up with the color, shall we? Love the yellow background. We're gonna stick with that. No reason to change something that ain't broke. I'll try this lighter green for these. That makes it a bit more saturated in the background. Then we can have our desaturated bunny. I don't know, I actually do want to change the color of the bunny. Brown bunny maybe? Like an actual brown bunny instead of like a weirdly layered brown bunny. I'm gonna try it. Here we go. Now this makes me think it needs to be a green hoodie because that's like the only other color in here. But I'm gonna try the pink, especially since his nose is gonna be pink. And maybe the center of these little flowers can be pink. What do we think? The pink looked better. The weird green bunny should have stuck to this color scheme. Maybe darken up some of the greens. I just think it would look better with something else. What if I did purple? That's blending in too much with the fur. I mean, I could go with something way darker than the fur. Well, it's got contrast at least. I think what I gotta do is darken up the green just to make it overall a darker composition. And then maybe add a little gradient to this background thing. All right, I want to draw another bunny dough. Maybe we'll just do a sketch and we can end on a high note here. All right, we got space for at least one more here. I want to use it. Although this turned out fine, I do prefer the pastel look. So I think if we color it, I want to just use this exact same color scheme. So here we go. The last one, I want to definitely come out of the border. That's my favorite thing about that one. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Gonna need a body. What if we put the hoodie on? <laughs> Does that work? I like it. Okay, this could be fun. Do we want to add plant life to the background? And how do we go about that? There's not a lot of space here. We could do a circle and then just have like plants coming out of it. The problem is we're just trying to keep it all away from the other designs. Maybe a ladybug? Okay, let's erase it. And line art. Well, that's the first time you could see where the ears were poking out above the eyeballs. I like this blank stare straight ahead. Little flowers. I need the green. Aye! Okay, didn't add the circle and now I can't see it, but I'm gonna try my best to recreate it. All right, we're gonna follow this exact same color scheme, which is gonna be a nice, adorable little pastel bunny. So we need milky white for the bunny. Mm -hmm. We need that yellow for the background. Color everything but the little flowers and the ladybug. This for the ladybug and the flowers and the hoodie and the tongue. Actually doesn't look too bad without the gray, but I do want to do that. I'll try a design. Yeah, it kind of just looks like shadow. Coloring in the whole thing, whatever. You know what I forgot to draw? This little paw. There it is. Okay, now we need to add a little shadow to this. I think I'm just gonna use the line art for it just to really separate what we're looking at. Is that it? Did I finish? Oh, we didn't color in the leaves. Ta-da! some reason that looks different, but it might be because it just fades over time and this is still a little wet. All that's drying just to see if it does fade into that color. I'm gonna include a couple extra little buns. <laughs> How does this one look? It's kind of cute. Just fill in the space. Why not? They're so fun to draw. What about one with glasses? Adorb. You'd think I'd have run out of cute ways to draw bunnies, but no. The one with the glasses. I'd also do like way bigger eyeballs on it with glasses. <laughs> This one looks more like a bug. <laughs> I think I need to move the ears backwards. Yeah, that helped. I'm gonna color him actually. I'm gonna color one of these little tiny guys. Put a little blue circle around him. And another bunny, and another bunny, and another bunny. Okay, I think my favorite are these three. And this guy. This little bug down here. I also really like that one. And this one's really, really fun and totally like different from what I usually draw. Except for, I guess, blubfish are kind of similar. Maybe we should draw one little ceremonious blubfish. Our inspiration. 
Here he is. A cutie patootie. This was fun. I don't know how long I've been sitting here. Not a very short amount of time, I can assure you. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along as I unbox the May Zen Pop stationery box. I'll have links in the description if you're looking for any further information. Let me know if you end up drawing any bunnies because of this. Because boy, was this fun. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!